If you're still looking for something new to get through Droughtlander, you'll want to turn to Shetland. This Scottish set drama could be the perfect show for Outlander fans. We're all looking for something to get through Droughtlander, right? Whether it's a new book, a new show, or a new movie, we need a way to fill this void that the Outlander break has caused. Shetland could be the perfect show for your needs. While it may be on its fifth season already, there will be many who haven't heard of it. This isn't one of the most promoted shows outside of the UK, despite the potential for an international fan base. The good news is you can easily watch it on Netflix. So, should you watch Shetland to get through Droughtlander? Here are five reasons it could be perfect for you. 5. It's got a range of Outlander actors. For those who want something that immediately connects them to their favorite series, Shetland immediately has you covered. Douglas Henschel is in every single season as lead character D.I. Jimmy Perez. Outlander fans will remember him as Taron McQuarrie in four episodes of the first season. He first appeared in Lolly Brock and his last appearance was in Wentworth Prison. Unfortunately, there's no coming back for Henschel in the time-traveling drama so you'll want to watch Shetland if you need to see him in action. Henschel isn't the only Outlander actor in the series. The likes of Stephen Walters, Clive Russell, and Stephen Cree have appeared in the British series. 4. It's set in Scotland. For those who want to feel like they're watching the earlier seasons of Outlander, Shetland offers the perfect escape. It's all set in Scotland, on Shetland, funnily enough. This is the most northern part of Scotland that you can get. You'll get a sense of the beautiful Scottish scenery. There are the accents that you've come to know and love. While some of the scenes are filmed on the islands, most of the filming is in and around Glasgow. The scenery is extremely close to that on the islands, though. It's worth noting that filming is in some of the areas local to Outlander. 3. Shetland is based on a book series. Love Outlander because it brings your favorite books to life? That's another reason to start watching Shetland. The first season which actually only contains two episodes, is based on Red Bones by Anne Cleves. From there, the series has focused on Cleves' novels Raven Black, Dead Water, and Blue Lightning. From the second season, more episodes were ordered. In fact, the next three books were split into two parts and were all part of the second season. From the third season, all six episodes have told just the one storyline. While the seasons are short, Shetland Season 5 is currently on the air. There are no signs of the series slowing down just yet considering how popular it is in Britain. 2. The writing is excellent. I know that writing is subjective, I've really enjoyed some of the Outlander episodes that other fans haven't, but Shetland is consistently praised for its good writing. It takes the main points of the original novel and turns them into something that works well for the TV screen. This is a series that doesn't get too graphic. You'll get the idea of what's going on through the actions and expressions of the actors, making the series slightly easier to watch and keeping the focus on the police work. Dialogue isn't stilted, the characters are well developed, and the storylines all make sense. There's a perfect, and not always easy to guess, conclusion to the tale. Most importantly, you're not completely spoon-fed the information. There is some inference involved, so if you enjoy that in a storyline, you'll love this series. 1. The music is beautiful. Shetland isn't all about the scenery, the actors, or the writing. There's music involved, just like Outlander. One of the things you know about Outlander is that there are themes for Claire and Jamie, a theme for Fraser's Ridge, and even themes for the past and the present within the storyline. That's the case for Shetland. There are different themes and the music will keep you on edge at the moments necessary. It helps to fuel the storyline without being over the top and distracting. John Lunn is the composer for the series and has been with the show from the very beginning. You'll also know him for the excellent music in The Last Kingdom, The White Queen, and Downton Abbey, among many other shows you've likely watched to get through Droughtlander.